a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Paul Merton Paul James Martin, known professionally as Paul Merton, is an English writer, actor, comedian, radio and television presenter. Known for his improvisation skill, Merton's humor is rooted in deadpan, surreal and sometimes dark comedy. He has been ranked by critics, fellow comedians, and viewers to be among Britain's greatest comedians. He is well known for his regular appearances as a team captain on the BBC panel game Have I Got News For You, and as the former host of Room 101, as well as for several appearances on the original British version of the improvisational comedy television show Whose Line Is It Anyway? He appears as a panelist regularly on Radio 4's Just A Minute. He has also appeared as one of the Comedy Store's Comedy Store players. Early Life Merton was born on 9 July 1957 in Parsons Green, London, to an English Anglican father, Albert Martin and an Irish Roman Catholic mother, Mary Ann Power. He attended St. Thomas School, Fulham, and St. Teresa's, Morden. He then went to Wimbledon College, a Jesuit-run secondary school that was formerly a grammar school and had just become a comprehensive, in a stream, for boys who had failed the 11 plus and he received A levels in English and history. After leaving school, Merton worked at the Tooting Employment Office as a clerical officer for seven years. Career Merton often claims that he was inspired to go into comedy at an early age watching clowns at a circus, remembering, I had no idea that adults could behave like that. He gained his earliest professional credits under his birth name including an appearance as a yokel in Time, an episode of The Young Ones in 1984. On joining Equity he found that the name Paul Martin was already taken, so he renamed himself after Merton, the district of London where he grew up. Stage Though he had harbored serious ambitions of becoming a performing comedian since his school days, it was not until April 1982, at the Comedy Store in Soho, that his dream was realized. He recalls that on only his second or third night he found the door role that has informed his comic approach ever since. He has been a member of the London improvisation group The Comedy Store Players since 1985, and still regularly performs with them. Merton has performed in Paul Merton's Impro Chums at Pleasants as part of the Edinburgh Comedy Festival every year from 2008. Television his breakthrough as a television performer came in 1988 with Channel 4's improvised comedy show Whose Line Is It Anyway, which moved to TV from BBC Radio 4, though he had previously performed on the channel's Saturday Live and compared its series Comedy Wavelength in 1987. He remained on Whose Line until 1993. Have I Got News For You began in 1990, and two series of his own sketch show, Paul Merton, the series, followed soon after. In 1995 he presented a documentary series celebrating the history of the London Palladium, entitled Paul Merton's Palladium Story. In 1996, Merton performed updated versions of 15 of Ray Galton and Alan Simpson's old scripts, for an ITV series, Paul Merton in Galton and Simpsons. Six of these scripts were previously performed by Tony Hancock. These were very badly received, by critics and although a selection of episodes was initially released on VHS. It was not until June 2007 that the complete series was released on DVD. Also in 1996, Merton took a break from Have I Got News For You, during its 11th series, making only one appearance as a guest on fellow Captain Ian Hislop's team. Merton later explained that at the time he was very tired of the show and that he thought it had become stuck in a rut. Nevertheless, he added that he felt his absence gave the program the shot in the arm it needed and that it had been better ever since. In 2002, following allegations in the UK tabloids linking the show's chairman, Angus D. Ayton, with prostitutes and drug use, the host was asked to resign from the show. Merton hosted the first episode after D. Ayton's departure and was described as merciless in his treatment of his former co-star. In 1999 Merton replaced Nick Hancock as host of Room 101, a chat show in which guests are offered the chance to discuss their pet hates and consign them to the oblivion of Room 101. His first guest was Hancock. He hosted 64 editions. 
In 2007, his final guest was Ian Hislop. Hislop's selections purposely included items that Merton was known to like, such as the Beatles and the films of Charlie Chaplin. Hislop's final choice was Merton himself, done to represent his departure from the show. Merton cast himself in the room to end the show, although on the condition that Hislop would go in with him. Merton is one of the recurring stars from the four ITV pantos. His best role came in 1999 where Merton starred alongside Ronnie Corbett as one of the ugly sisters in ITV's Christmas pantomime of Cinderella. His other co-stars were Julian Clary, Samantha Janus, Ben Miller, Harry Hill, Frank Skinner, and Alexander Armstrong. In the same year, to coincide with the launch of his first stand-up tour in 10 years, and this is me. Paul Merton, he was given his own one-hour South Bank show special. The show charted his beginnings in the comedy business, to the development of his improvisational skills, his mental breakdown, and the popularity of Have I Got News For You. He was rumored to be a possible new host of Countdown to replace both Richard Whiteley and his successor, Des Lynham, but decided not to pursue this. Merton is a keen student of comedy, particularly the early silent comedians, and in 2006, BBC Four broadcast Paul Merton's Silent Clowns, a four-part documentary series on the silent comedy craft of Buster Keaton, Charlie Chaplin, Laurel and Hardy and Harold Lloyd. Merton examined their respective careers, interspersed with moments, from a live show in which he presented clips of their work. Among the audience were many children, who were seeing the performers, for the first time. Merton took a stage version of this show to the 2006 Edinburgh Fringe Festival and in late 2007 took the show on a UK tour. A tie-in book was written by Merton and published by RH Books in late 2007. The Independent described it as, clearly a labor of love, but criticized the exhaustive and overly thorough plot synopses of the film's disgust. Paul Merton is set to open the third Yorkshire Silent Film Festival in Leeds on 8 May 2018 presenting films by Buster Keaton, Charlie Chaplin, Laurel, and Hardy, and Harold Lloyd along with live improvised piano by Neil Brand also in 2007 he presented a four-part travel documentary, Paul Merton in China, which was broadcast on 5 from 21 May 2007. His second travel series, Paul Merton in India was transmitted from the 8th of October 2008 on the same channel. A third series, Paul Merton in Europe began broadcasting on the 11th of January 2010, again on 5. In 2015 he was commissioned by Morfor to present Paul Merton's Secret Stations, a travel documentary series about Britain's smallest railway stations inspired by travel writer Dix Will's book Tiny Stations. Merton hosted the British version of Thank God You're Here which aired on ITV in 2008. In 2009, Merton directed and presented a documentary on the British films of Alfred Hitchcock, in a series of star-presented documentaries on BBC4. In May 2010, Merton temporarily co-presented the one show for two weeks on Thursday after Adrian Chiles left the show. His three-part documentary series Paul Merton's Birth of Hollywood about the early history of Hollywood was broadcast in May 2011 on BBC Two. In Merton's third TV series for 2011, Paul Merton's Adventures, he travels around the world going on popular tourist trails, but still manages to find some extraordinary things. Radio in the late 1980s, Merton appeared on BBC Radio 4's The Big Fun Show. After long time just a minute panelist Kenneth Williams died in 1988. Merton contacted the producer at the suggestion of the host, Nicholas Parsons. He was invited to participate during the following year, and has appeared regularly on the program ever since. In 2016 Merton overtook Williams to become the second most regular panelist, surpassed only by Clement Freud. Besides his work on Just a Minute, Merton was a semi-regular guest on I'm Sorry I Haven't a Clue from 1991 to 1998. Between 1993 and 1995, Merton was among the regular cast members on the Radio 4 improvisational comedy series The Masters and Inheritance. In 2000 he presented Two Priests and a Nun Go Into a Pub, in which he interviewed British and Irish comedians who had been brought up as members of the Roman Catholic Church. In 2009, Merton started a Radio 4 series in which he reads Spike Milligan's war memoirs in an audiobook fashion. Personal Life 
Merton married actress Caroline Quentin in 1990. They announced their separation in April 1997, which was followed by divorce in 1998. Merton subsequently had a relationship with producer and actress Sarah Parkinson. They were married unofficially in a service in the Maldives in 2000. They were officially married three months before her death, from breast cancer on 23 September 2003. He married fellow improviser Suki Webster in 2009. Shortly before becoming a household name on Have I Got News For You, Merton booked himself into the Maudsley Psychiatric Hospital for six weeks, because of psychiatric problems caused by the malaria medicine Larium. In an interview with The Guardian he was reported to have been hallucinating conversations with friends, and became convinced he was a target for the Freemasons. He used the Maudsley episode as a key framework in his 2012 tour, Out of My Head. He gave many examples of his experiences there. Conversations with staff and fellow patients were played out as sketches with his fellow performers, Richard Vranch, Lee Simpson, and Suki Webster. He stated that, during his time at the Maudsley, he was simultaneously appearing in Whose Line Is It Anyway? on Channel 4. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?